Hello everyone and welcome to one of many videos we are recording this evening for our sort of end of season wrap up. Um, for those of you that have listened to our podcast this week, you'll know that we've done uh, some like team of the season stuff. We've given out some kind of individual awards based on what we think. Um, traditionally on YouTube, not only do we do what this video is going to be, which is the table uh, review of our predictions from early in the season, but we're also going to do some videos just talking about what we think has been the worst 11 this season, the worst 11 from players that were newly signed this year. Um, and we're also going to talk about the England squad as well. In, in So there's loads of videos to come this week. Um, so make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you uh, like the video and all that jazz. We're getting very close to 500 subscribers as well. So if you can help us get over the line, that would be uh, massively appreciated. The point system will work. Uh, three points if you get it bang on. Mm -hmm. And one point if you go one place either above or below. Um, and we don't know. It's important to say I, met, I got Lee from the, from the podcast to um, send the both of us each other's predictions mm -hmm. so i've not watched the video back i've not done anything with it since august excuse me so we don't know what the scores are yeah. so this is going to be a, a reveal at the same time uh so we'll, go, we'll work from the bottom up um we'll try and make sure that we look up regularly so we're not just staring at our phones <laughs> the entire time um so we are going to start with uh the team that placed in 20th of course as we know it was sheffield united that came in at the bottom dan you put Luton. Okay. So no points for you because they came 18th. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, it was just, to be fair, I'd be quite surprised if I didn't put Luton. You put Luton. Yeah, I thought... Because <laughs> <laughs> after what I said about them at the start of the season mm -hmm. where I was saying that I thought they were going to be the worst team ever to grace the league. The Sheffield United. Yeah, the Sheffield United, <laughs> exactly that. So, uh, so yeah, unfortunately, no points there. Um, Luton came two places above in 18th. Um, in 19th, Dan, you will get a point because you said Sheffield United right. in nineteenth. So not a bang okay. in no, the end. No, it wasn't too far off. Um, great minds think alike. You also put Sheffield yes. United. <laughs> it's one all. We're in the we're we're off and running. I don't know how many points we got in last year's review, but I don't think no, it was it wasn't many. A lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's nineteenth. Uh, in eighteenth, this is uh, the first. Should we say wild one mm. in terms of like the position that you've guessed is. Well, it's a lot lower than right, where they actually okay. finished. Uh, you had an 18th place, Dan. You put Wolves. Did I? Yeah. Interesting. So they obviously finished 14th. Yeah. Uh, so no no points for you there. Mm. Um, yeah, what was you thinking there? Do you remember? No, I do not remember. Because they just got Gary O'Neill. I mean, he came before the season started. I think he did. Mm. They had obviously lost a few of their players. So I'm guessing maybe it's because they had to... They hemorrhaged quite a few players, didn't they, in the summer? Yeah. Maybe that fed into it a little bit. Yeah, that's a bit of a strange decision, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'd also like to ask you the same question, because you also put Wolves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Um, yeah, well, I mean, they sold a few players, didn't they? Uh, Gary O'Neill had only just come in. I'd have loved to you to have, like, berated me there. <laughs> I'd have just bided my time for that. <laughs> okay, well, no points there for either of us. Um, right, next one. 17th place. Um, again, uh, several places out in the end, although at one point this was probably looking quite likely. In 17th, you put Everton. Okay. So even though you were... I get a bit worried we both had the same list there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just... Yeah, we just Lee sent us the same list just to mess with us. Um... So, yeah, they finished 15th in the end. Um, but at one point, I think Everton in 17th place was was, was looking very likely. I, I don't know what the points difference was between where they finished and 17th, but mm. I imagine it was quite close. Um, yeah, poor season for them. I think they're bang in trouble next year, especially if they get another big points deduction next year. If they go, if they do go into administration, they are bang in trouble next year, yeah. I think. Um, so you did not put Everton. Good. You put Bournemouth. Who actually finished 12th. Yeah, okay, that's a foobar. <laughs> but again, start of the season, yeah. I was probably laughing there because yeah. they were so rubbish at the start of the season. And then Iriola found the magic formula from somewhere and they, mm. obviously they had a fantastic season in the end. So, yeah, definitely no points for that, for yeah. that one. Uh, right, 16th, um, you put Burnley. Mm. Nilpois. Yeah. Yeah, they finished 19th. They were pretty poor this year. I cannot believe... Uh, I had to check the calendar and make sure it wasn't April 1st when I read this, that Vincent Company has been seriously linked with the Bayern Munich job. I just don't get it. Yeah. I don't see. What what have they seen in Vincent Company this season? Unless they think that he plays the right brand of football, he's just got a really not good group of players, and with a better group of players, maybe he can make it work. That's, that's a leap. Yeah. After the year they've just had, they need to have a big bounce-back season. 
I'm surprised everyone's been well Bayern Munich have been linked with him and, and now Chelsea I think have been linked with him as well it's strange yeah. um, well we're doing 16th, 16th yep. you get a point because you put Nottingham Forest Ooh. who actually finished 17th nice, not okay. bad not too bad 2-1 to me then um, alright so in 15th you put Bournemouth uh, who obviously finished 12th so yeah. no points there fantastic season for Bournemouth as we said you get three points. You put Everton. Yeah, boy. Oh, this is running, <laughs> running away with this. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. Uh, in fourteenth place, I put. Uh, I put. Sorry, you put. Yeah, there we go. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating. You put Nottingham Forest, who finished seventeenth. I thought Nottingham Forest were going to have a better season than they did. Mm. Um, obviously, they sacked Steve Cooper halfway through the season. Um, I still, I still think that as a as a attacking unit, they've got a good squad. You know, Elanga, Wood, Awanyi, uh, Hudson Odoi, um, Morgan Gibbs White. They're, yeah. they're some really good players. For some reason, they either don't score enough goals or they're conceding too many. Um, and Spirito Santo needs to get a grip of that because they can yeah. find themselves in trouble again next year. Yeah. If you've got a front line like that, and you still can't, you still just sort of survive by the skin of your teeth. Something's, something's, something's wrong. Something, yeah. something needs to be addressed there. So, yeah, they need they need to address that in the summer for sure. I assume their points deductions and that are done now, or are they still sitting on more? As far as I know, there's no further ones to come no. from, from Nottingham Forest, as far as I know. I think it's only Everton and Chelsea they have got that hangover to next season, obviously whatever happens with City in the next 10 years. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, another point for you. You put Fulham at 14th. And they finished 13th, didn't 13th, they? 13th, yeah. Noise, nice. yeah, noise. Um, thirteenth, uh, very disappointingly, I should say. Uh, damper West Ham. How, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you put them so low? Although with the end of the season that we had, I don't know how we didn't finish nearer that end because we were so bad in twenty twenty four. I'm amazed that we ended up finishing in the top half. Mm. Um, I think it was a really bad indictment of everybody else around us. So unfortunately, no points there because they finished in ninth. Um, you might have noticed that I've not said Burnley yet. That's because you put them at 13th. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think that's the worst one yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, mean, I think we all thought that Burnley would be the best of the three that yeah. came up. I must have been on the whiskey or something <laughs> when I made that list because that is a shocker, isn't it? Jesus Christ. That's why Bayern Munich and Chelsea won it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they obviously looked at the same predictions <laughs> at the start of the season. Um, okay, well, uh, in 12th place, um, still, unfortunately, no points, but getting, but getting closer, is Crystal Palace, you put in, mm. in 12th. Again, I think you would say, like, that at the start of the season, that's a pretty safe bet, Crystal Palace, to be in that sort of position. Well, about the end of the run run of the season they had, I mean, that, that might have been... That might, might have been bang on, that. yeah. Um, they had a brilliant end of the season, almost snuck into the, uh, into the top half of the league, but unfortunately, it's still no points. Um, I need to start picking up some points soon. You Otherwise, do. I'm going to be belt Mars buying, but... Um, again, great minds. You also put Crystal Palace. Yeah, I think, I think that's fair. And also, I in eleventh, I think again was a pretty safe bet for you with Fulham, um, but they ended up coming thirteenth. Mm. I think a lot with Fulham hinged on what was going to happen with Mitrovic yeah. in the summer. I think it, when we were doing this, it was still unknown at that point as to whether he was going or staying. Um, and in the end, I think thirteenth is it's an okay season for yeah. them. I think they, you know, to to avoid being dragged down into that fight next season um, I think they do need to, um, to to strengthen for sure I mean Munez jury's out as to whether he can carry on that sort of form into next season yeah. they, they had Broyer on loan they bought Jimenez and none of them apart from Munez obviously but then he dried up towards the end of the season as well didn't mm, he so yeah. yeah we'll have to wait and see but no points there I'm afraid um, in 11th you put Brentford who um, had a bit of a poor season and finished 16th so. yeah they were, I think I mean, I think that's not a bad shout, the way Brentford had been playing. Um, obviously, mm. maybe not taking into account Tony. I was going to say, I was just about to say, when did Tony get his ban? Would we have done, would that have been before the predictions? Yeah. Did he have the ban yeah. during last season? Yeah, at the end of last right. season, I believe. Okay, so yeah, it was just me being shit again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this one, and I suspect I may have done something similar, is probably one of the, one of the worst, but the other way round in terms of they've massively overachieved based on what we thought they would do at the start of the season, and that's Aston Villa. You put mm. them in 10th, and they, of course, had an amazing season and finished in 4th. Yeah. Um, well, you actually done okay. You got a point because you put West Ham for 10th, and they actually finished ninth. so underestimated your own team. Yeah. Well, place finish. Yeah, I just... 
I can't remember where I was at that point in terms of my David Moyes mindset because that would have been off the back of the European triumph. Yeah, that's true. Um, and we'd have just signed. Actually, I wonder if we had, because we made a couple of our signings very, very late. We left it really late mm. with our signings. I wonder if we did this prediction before we'd signed anybody. Maybe. Because I think we'd got Ward, Prowse, yeah. Coolers and all that yeah. lot quite late. Yeah. So I wonder if I was really pessimistic for the reason that we hadn't signed yeah. anybody. Um so, but anyway, I'll take it. I'll take a point. <laughs> yeah, lucky for you. <laughs> uh, ninth, you put Brentford. Wow. You finished obviously all the way down in sixteenth. So um, I was on the whiskey with you. Yeah, <laughs> I think I. Th- I think they're banging trouble. They're going to lose Tony in the summer. Mm. We're certainly. Um, Thomas Frank is heavily linked with Chelsea. If he goes, I think Brentford are prime mm. for relegation fodder next season. Unfortunately. Um. Yeah. Now you put Aston Villa in ninth. So. Yeah, I think. Obviously, it's easy to say now because we know where they finish and we know the season they've had. But I think at the start of the season, I don't, I don't necessarily think that we knew that Emery was going to be able to carry on. I think the way my, he finished the previous season. My thinking was that European football would hinder them a bit yeah. and they would drop a bit, like what happened to Newcastle. Obviously, they were sort of floating around that that sort of spot. Um, but I mean, fair play to Villa; they managed to keep a European campaign and that sort of strong Premier League campaign going the entire season yeah I think they were absolutely outstanding um, so it isn't going well for you mate no. um, Spurs you put in in 8th uh, they finished 5th um, I think that's a reasonable guess because we knew they were losing Kane I don't know if that had already happened at the point we did this um, Postacoglu comes in a bit of an unknown quantity really in terms of managing at this level so I think in 8th place was probably a, a fair assessment mm. a fair gamble there but no um, points. No. <laughs> There's probably a reason you think that. It's because you also put Spurs <laughs> okay. in eighth place. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think they've I think they've had a good season. I think a lot's been made about how they finished the season had such a poor season. But I think overall, if you'd have said to Spurs fans, you're gonna lose Harry Kane, you're gonna have an unknown manager who's gonna come in and try and transform your season. Yeah. I think they would have said fifth place is a yeah. is a good finish. Yeah. The trouble is, is this, as we said on the podcast, everybody got a little excited yeah. at the start of the season, didn't they? Um Seventh place, you put Brighton, who unfortunately at one point looked like they were going to be up there, and then they yeah. had a dreadful second half of the season, a bit mm. like West Ham did, and fell away. Uh, and they ended up finishing eleventh in the end, and they've now they're now managerless as well. So there's now three teams that don't have a manager yeah. right now, as things stand. And we only the Premier League season finished three days ago, and already with three managers are gone. Mm. Um, so no points again, I'm afraid. Um, ditto to you because you also put Brighton in seventh <laughs> place. Okay, uh, right, into the top six then. Um, I'm fairly confident that we've got the same top six teams, so I don't think any of these six have come out... No, I don't think they have. ...for actually. me or for, no. for you. Um, so it's just a case of what order we put them in. So uh, you put in sixth place. Who do, you, who do you reckon you put in sixth place? Chelsea. No, you put Newcastle. You put Newcastle in sixth. So you will get a point because they finished in seventh place. Um, so you're uh, you're back on the board with uh, your second point. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they've had a good season. In the end, they've had an okay season. Had a good run in the Champions League. Had a lot of amazing memories and and evenings. Obviously, that PS- mm. that win against PSG is the, the the highlight of this season, I'm sure. Um, and they've been very entertaining with some of their games. Yeah, been a lot of high scoring games involving Newcastle this year. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, not a bad season at all. Go on then. Who do you think you put in sixth place? Um, I reckon I put Chelsea. You put Liverpool. Did I? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... What was the thinking I was, I'd imagine it was probably because we they were having a rebuild. Mm. You know, they'd they'd sold... Um, uh, did Mane go the summer of last... No, it was the summer nah, before, yeah, wasn't it? Before. Um, who was it? Oh, so it was their midfield, wasn't it? Mm. It was their midfield that had been kind of gutted. Um, and they needed to rebuild, and I, we, nobody at that point was massively convinced that they'd done enough with that midfield yeah. to to, to uh, sort of maintain that uh, that charge at the top. So I thought Liverpool were going to have a bit of a transition season again at that point, not knowing that Klopp was, you know, as yeah, later in the season, season was going to was going to yeah. um, was going to walk away. So yeah, I don't I don't think it was um, an, an awful guess, but uh, obviously it wasn't uh, it wasn't anywhere near correct. So mm. yeah, no points there. Right, into fifth place now, and you will get yourself another point. Nice. Uh, because you uh, you said Chelsea, as my screen has just turned off. You are still recording, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> um, 
Yes, you put Chelsea in fifth place. Uh, they obviously finished in sixth place. I mean, a month and a half ago, that was looking like a horrendous guess. Yeah. Uh, and then they've had a, such a strong finish to the season, haven't they? Cole Palmer has been absolutely outstanding. Um, but of course, the news today, Pochettino yeah, Poch has, gone. Has, has left by mutual consent, um, which is just code for he was, you know, jump or be pushed, I think yeah, effectively what yeah. it was. Um Mutual consent only just all, all it means is is that they don't then they don't get the full amount of money they would otherwise get if they were sacked. So it's just a way of them getting a decent payout without the without the um, sort of the negative stuff that comes with the yeah. fact that you've been sacked. Um, I just want the money, I think. Yeah, maybe. Especially if the clubs kind of fucked you over, like now. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, maybe it's dare a I say mark it. on your CV. Is yeah, it? I mean, dare I say it? I mean, it's like he's going to be short of a few quid, is it? Well, so that's very true. But yeah, Chelsea in the end finishing sixth. I think they've done amazingly well, and I think they only finished five points off of the top four in the end, which yeah. again, as an end of season run, was, was very very good. Um, you also get a point because you also put Chelsea. Okay. Yep. Um, be interesting to see what they do now, which manager they bring in, and and can they? Because you know they finish the season strong under Poch. Can whoever come in, whoever comes in, sorry. Can they, mm. you know, try and keep the momentum going? Uh, right into the top four then, and uh, you put in fourth place Manchester United. Hmm. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? I mean, obviously, as a, as a United fan, and it's the same with me as a West Ham fan, sometimes you're guilty of perhaps uh, sort of sort of seeing too many positives and maybe overinflating how good you think your team is going to be just because they're your team. Do you, did you genuinely, you know, when you, like, pre, obviously pre-season was pretty good last yeah, season? Yeah, pre-season you look, you look was good. good. Well, we'd, we'd been in two cup finals, won one of them. Um, the signings we made, obviously, you never know that they're going to be flops, do you? You know, when we spent 75 million on Anthony, um, I mean, we can do those videos later, but um, you don't know what those players are going to be like. And you see them in pre-season friendlies and they're great. And you think, yeah, we've, we've got a really good side here. Mm. Um, so was Anthony signed last summer? Yeah, I believe so. Well, see, I thought it was the year before. Let's mm -hmm. check that. Because oh, I may make a change to my um, my worst signings of the season if he, if he was signed this season. I thought he was signed this season. Okay, well, we'll check that off screen. It's fine. But yeah. yeah we'll but either way, I mean, the, the point remains. Yeah. Um, um, the, yeah, I well, the season we'd had, I thought that we were going to get strong. I mean, injuries, I do think, had a massive impact. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was wrong, wasn't I? I was about <laughs> four places out, so... Yeah, you did finish eighth in the end. Uh, still, still, amazingly, a chance for you to get into European football mm. um, if, if you can uh, beat Man City in the Cup this weekend. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, in third place... Um, oh, my, it's my go, isn't it? Oh, sorry, have you not done yours? No. Um, so fourth place you put Newcastle interesting so I obviously thought then that they would be able to maintain Champions League and a league uh, a league run and in reality I mean obviously I think they probably could have got fourth if they didn't have the injury crisis that they had because you know they were out of the Champions League by February mm. um, by the by the group in fact no they were out before that weren't they they got knocked out the same time as us so before Christmas yeah. then yeah, yeah. so They've had a good chunk of the season with no European football, so mm. I don't think you can use European football as, as a reason that they've not got top four. And they've not been in the Cups either, really. Not really, no. Um, so I think really their biggest thing is injuries and just yeah. having to rotate the sides around. So in the end, with everything they've had, the fact that they've had Anthony Gordon for most of the season, Isak has been there for most of the season as well, the goals they've scored has bailed them out massively. Yeah. So I think to get sixth place, potentially Europe, obviously, you know, FA Cup pending, um, I think is a is a good season for them yeah. in the end. Yeah, I agree. Uh, seventh, sorry for Newcastle, they didn't finish sixth, did they? They finished seventh. No. Uh, right, third place then. Um, so I think the top three. I oh know mine is different because I said Liverpool yeah. in sixth, didn't I? Yeah. Oh god, that means I put Man United in the top three. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Arsenal was your pick for third place. Mm -hmm. um, so that meant that you, uh, yeah, you had Liverpool ahead of Arsenal mm -hmm. in your pick. So. Yeah, did you obviously Arsenal finished second the season before? Did you just think that they wouldn't have enough again in the tank to, to um, go all the way and compete? It was more a case of Liverpool had, had a poor season last season, um, but started to sort of climb up towards the end. I thought that this season um, they would sort of go one further and, and be stronger again. Yeah. Um, it, it looked like it was going to be a three way battle for the title, and, and Liverpool ended up their season. They are 
not even just Premier League, but their whole season just sort of fizzled out towards the end, didn't it? Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not too disappointed. I think if I were to make my sort of predictions again, I would I would be close to putting Liverpool to second, to mm. be honest. But. Yeah, I think so. It gets your point in, in terms of the predictions because they, you know, they came second. Um, I think it's fair. I mean, obviously, our, this is the first season that Arsenal have kind of shaken off that whole bottle job mm. narrative, isn't yeah. it? Because you... I still see people, and it's, it makes me laugh. That the, some of the football knowledge from from people on social media is that was hilarious because they're they, they're still saying that oh you screwed your season because you lost to Villa, so you can't say they screwed their season because they lost no. one fucking game. No, it's madness. Yeah, there's um, so many factors that come into it. So yeah, no, that's fine. So a point for you for third for Arsenal. Um, Please tell me I didn't put Man United higher than third. So you put Arsenal for third. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I love the faith you had in us. I, I don't know. Somebody had to, I guess. Um, I, I don't even know how to defend this. Um, what well, Arsenal in third? Oh, well, oh yeah, Arsenal defend, in third. Defend yeah. that for now. We're not at second yet. No, but the problem is, is that I'm having to defend putting them behind Man United, <laughs> aren't I? So yeah, I don't know. I, I thought that Arsenal. Um, again, I don't know whether we did did this at the point that Declan Rice was already playing for Arsenal. I think we had. I think he Rice started the season and played the entire season with Arsenal. I don't think he did anything with us. So he was already there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I just thought that perhaps after the season they'd had before where they kind of threw it all away a little bit, maybe that would mm. affect them mentally. Um, and whether or not, again, obviously them being back in the Champions League as well, whether that would have an impact. So um, obviously I still thought they were going to have a good season. I just I, Maybe I just didn't think they would get quite as close to yeah. City as, as they have done. Um, so yeah obviously both saying the same uh, you put Liverpool in second so you get yourself a point um, mm. for that um, it's funny isn't it because I think we said in the podcast that we, we, we think they have overachieved this season mm. but clearly you had faith in them from the start yeah yeah um, second you put Manchester City no I didn't no you Shut didn't the fuck <laughs> you put I literally I would end this video and I would resign from this podcast if that was true Jesus uh, you put Man United in second <laughs> Yeah, I think I don't even know what to say. To be <laughs> I really don't. I think maybe I got lulled into the fact that you'd. I mean, that's to... almost up there with one of the worst. <laughs> that's, yeah, that could be that could be Hall of Fame worthy. Um, I think maybe I obviously got lulled into the fact that you obviously got those cup finals the year before. We had seen. I think you did. You finish the season quite well the year before. Yeah, so yeah. you did. I think I remember watching some of your games in pre-season and you were playing some really good football. Mm. Um, Martial looked really strong um, even Sancho I think in pre-season yeah, looked really good yeah. as well so obviously I got lulled into thinking that you were primed for a really good season um, yeah didn't happen didn't happen did it um, so yeah but you get a uh, you get a point for your second I definitely I should get minus points for that one quite frankly <laughs> um, and of course unsurprisingly we've both picked Man City um, yeah. although although we were saying that you know like a Oh yeah, they won the league again. It did take them till the final day to do yeah, it. Yeah, it did. So yeah. it wasn't like it was a runaway landslide. No. Um, so three points apiece. Um, uh, I'd do, do a quick total up of our scores if you if you can. I learn. think you beat me. <laughs> so one. So you got a point for Sheffield United when you said uh, mm. they would finish nineteenth. I don't think you got another point until sixth place Newcastle. Looking at this, no, you didn't. So yeah, one, uh, two, three, four, five. So you got eight. If my maths is correct, I'll flash the scores up on the screen as well. So I was able to keep a running total. But you got twelve. I got twelve. Okay, yeah. I think I'm fairly certain that both of us have done better than we did last yeah, season. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah. I have to go back and look at the video. You but got a lot of one pointers, and then yeah. obviously you got that three pointer with Everton. I don't think I got anyone bang on, did I? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, I like doing this because it's quite interesting to look back and actually think, try and remember like our thinking as to Especially what we the, thought the season was going to be like. The really outside, like you put Burnley thirteenth and those sort of ones. Where yeah, like... I've had a couple. Of, <laughs> despite the fact I've won this, I've had a couple of absolute stinkers in there, haven't I? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it's, it's good though because you know you look back at these seasons, you think, depending on obviously what these individual clubs were and what their ambitions were. You know, I've got. Uh, you got Aston Villa in tenth. I think I had them mm, in ninth. Yeah. You know, was that their realistic ambitions for the season? Have they massively overachieved yeah. on their own side of things? We understand that Chelsea. One of the reasons that they've party company with Pochettino is because there was a disagreement with their finish to the season mm. that they say, would say that it was too uh, too little, too late. 
and that they genuinely wanted them in the Champions League this year, which I think is astonishingly short-sighted. Yeah. Um, but you know, you know, it's. It, I said to you, I said that Chelsea, their owners, and we we know that they're not football people. It's it's been proven time and time and again. Yeah. But they really need to have a look at Arsenal mm. and the journey they've been on and realise that that's what they need to do. You've got a young team, build something. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, there we go. So that was uh, that's our review of our table predictions. Not as bad as I feared it might be, to be honest. <laughs> um, but um, overall, I don't know if Pete did this for yours, by the way. We're Pete very kind. Pete yeah, and he did. It. So um, I th- I'm assuming that his number at the bottom here I'll be interested to see because even though I've won on points, it's how many places? How we many out. places we were out in total? So you, I have a feeling I might lose this because I've had a couple of really wild yeah. ones in here. You were out by 52 places. Mm. What was I? 64. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Bloody hell. So I think it's literally, I mean, half, like, a third of those are probably from three <laughs> three guesses. Um, so, yeah, Burnley, Villa and Man United, I think, have killed me there. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, we've got plenty more videos to come uh, this week that we're going to be recording tonight. So you'll see us in the same outfit for the next four or five videos. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below what uh, what you think, what uh, you know, what your opinion of these uh, predictions were. Did you have anything similar at the start of the season? Um, did anybody else please think that Maynard were going to finish second? Please, someone someone back me up. I think I'm going <laughs> to I think I'm going to struggle to find anyone who thought that they were going to finish Just second. Just United fans, I think. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you all in the next one. See you later.